Why do so many leaders fail to understand or ignore the importance of vulnerability? Because they think vulnerability makes them look weak. Vulnerability has historically been viewed as a sign of weakness, but in today's business climate, the speed of change forces us as leaders to bring others into the fold much quicker in order to grow. Most leaders, regardless of hierarchy or rank, would be better served by being vulnerable enough to admit that they don't always have the right answers and that what got them here won't get them there. Why can't we do this? Because we don't see power in transparency. Because we don't understand the value in admitting that we may not know everything. Because we don't believe that others, both inside and outside the organization, can help. Because we see power in resistance, not relationships. In times of renewal, reinvention, and transformation within companies, leaders must be even more vulnerable to connect to all people, correct the mistakes of the past, and grow and evolve into the future. Simply put, to build trust and have influence, leaders must be courageous to be vulnerable and vulnerable to be courageous.